The Dorseys and tears and pain in this new year for a woman who stares at her husband in a hospital bed, waiting for the second he speaks or is able to walk again. WMAR 2 News' Ashley McDowell spoke with her about her husband's battle after he was hit and left for dead. That's right, Carlos Bonitos is still fighting for recovery almost eight months after two vehicles hit him on Highway 100 going toward Ellicott City. His wife, Georgina Garcia, says it was back in June. She had just overcome cancer and the two were ready to celebrate that milestone when the tragedy hit. Carlos Bonilla was heading home from work when his car died. As he was pushing it off the highway, he was hit. We still don't know about the first vehicle, but the second vehicle stayed behind and I still haven't been able to get any information from that person. Officers are still searching for the other driver who took off. Garcia says Bonilla's skull was fractured, all his bones were either broken or fractured, and he was in a coma. Placed in shock trauma for months, he was finally released to a rehab center. On. Feet on the ground for me. He's learning to walk, he's learning to talk. Um, he still has a lot of fractures, a lot of broken bones still. He's been through 13 surgeries and still needs six more. But Garcia says it's not possible at this time. She says insurance hasn't paid a dime and it's been a battle since Bonilla can't speak to give his account of what happened. Our medical insurance said this is something that happened accidental that we should be getting coverage by them. Um, since he was a pedestrian at the moment that it, the accident happened. So going back and forth, nobody wants to cover anything. So far, the family has incurred over $600,000 in hospital bills. And with insurance not paying, the amount keeps racking up. She recently lost her job and says taking care of their five children, along with other expenses, has become an even further obstacle on her life, as Bonilla was the sole provider. The rehab center is ready to release him. A GoFundMe page has been created to support her family. She says the goal is to use that amount to pay for the care he would need when he's home. The GoFund, we're trying to use it for, he's going to need physical therapy, nurses aid, um, person to come out and help us with him. She says she just wants her husband home, but can't do it alone. We need a lot more help. Financially. If not, we will all be homeless sooner or later. The GoFundMe page is listed as Gigi and Carlos Bonilla and Children. You can also find it on our website at WMAR2news.com.